This is a mystery painting series that will slowly reveal the mystery painting from Diamond Art Club done by Abraham Hunter. <laughs> Not Abraham Lincoln, Abraham Hunter called Secret Garden. So if you have this painting or are trying to obtain this painting to do for yourself, please click out of this video as it will slowly reveal the painting. Hello, shiny, happy people. So we're back for another square, number 19. I can't wait till we get into the 20s. Um, let's see, what does it have to be? I guess it has to be like 23 and four are like in the middle half because we're doing 47 squares. Yeah, so <clears throat> welcome to Kim's Crafts. My name is Kim. And if you're new here, hello. <clears throat> excuse me and if you're returning welcome back guys thank you um so i really hope we get up in here i feel like my computer is like um programming against me here but i, I just i don't have any control and we're gonna we're gonna leave it into the fate of the computer here so please be kind to us give us something good no whammies, no whammies. Nineteen. Woo! Smack, almost. Eighteen would have been smack dab in the middle. We're going here today. That's where we're going. Yeah, okay. All right, getting closer. Yeah, we're, we're up in the middle. That's where we wanted to be. Perfect. Let me set you guys up. Okay, we all set up. I already lined everything up. And um, yeah, I covered up stuff so we don't get any sneak peeks here. Um, Number 19. I hope you guys can see that. Once again, I cannot see what you see. I, I, I need a light pad. I don't know how people diamond paint without a light pad. I don't know if my eyes are just bad. I'm worse than everyone else's. This is literally 100% my favorite snack. Pretzels. Any pretzel will do, but these are my absolute favorite old time. You can't find them during Christmas time because everybody uses them for chocolate covered pretzels. These are so good. Excuse me. Obviously, I got them out for when I time lapse. <laughs> um, but so just gonna update you guys. I. I have not started my Christmas canvas yet because all day I was working on the Harry Potter and I finished it. Woohoo! So I will be recording a, um, what's it called? Post review on that. And um, I hope to record it tomorrow, but I didn't want to have four whips going. So literally the past two days, I've just pretty much just been working on, on that one. Um, didn't really do anything on diamond painting Deutschland and uh, didn't record one of these yesterday. And yeah, I'm really happy to be working with squares tonight because the Harry Potter was rounds and I am 100% team square. Um, now I know that. Not that I don't like rounds, but I 100% prefer squares. I just love them. I don't know why. And it's a problem because like anytime I look at a canvas and want to buy one, I always want it to be square. And really, you, you really need a good mix so that uh, 
you know, because the squares just take so much longer. Well, for me, I, I should have a good mix, which I think I do. Like the Santa, he's round. You know, the Lola Rose was round. The Star Aura was round. Um, I do think I have a good mix. And then the, the Prism Diamond Painting, uh, Daphne, the Birds of Paradise Girl, I, I got in rounds because because strictly because I knew that I should have a good mix. But if it was up to me, I would have gotten her in squares. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. What do you guys prefer to do, rounds or squares? I was afraid of squares in the beginning and then I was a little like, disappointed if there was any any kind of space, but I just love them now. I don't know what it is. I love diamond painting them more. I love the way they look more. So, and um, yeah, so my vacation has been going really, really well. There's been a lot of text messages for needing help at the hospital for bonus money. And I've been tempted to pick up four hours here, four hours there. But I just keep telling myself not to and to just enjoy this time off. And then, you know, next week I can start picking up because it's not like they're not going to need help next week. Because that's the general consensus anymore. So I'm just trying to hold out and not pick up any. So we'll see. But yeah, I think that's it. Nothing else really. Um, now that the Harry Potter's done and, and for the Christmas one, I'm not going to plan on, um, putting myself in a, um, on a schedule to finish it by the end of the month. It's pretty confetti heavy. Um, it's, it's, it's a, it's a good medium-sized canvas uh, so I just figure I'll work on it but I'm not going to I'm going to try not to slow down on the diamond painting Deutschland that's the goal so you know maybe I'll only do one one of these videos a week I don't know. We'll see how it all plays out. But yeah, I am excited to start that one too. You know, maybe I'll just try to do like a square um, every couple days or something like that. All right, guys, I think I'm going to throw you in a time lapse and chow down on my pretzels. I hope everybody is having a good start of their 4th of July weekend. They had the fireworks today over in the town over or the town we used to live. Um, the gym parking lot when I walked outside to leave was packed because a lot of people parked there and then they walked over with their beach chairs to the to the park down the road where they were holding the fireworks. So that was fun. Let me tell you though, okay, I am gonna tell you a story. In my older age, my phobia of bugs is getting a little out of control, like crippling, to, like, almost crippling and I don't know why I don't know what's happening 
but like I used to be a camper. We used to go camping, sleep in tents, um, kayak on the river at midnight. I can't imagine doing that at this point. Like my fear of bugs is just, I don't know what's happening. I don't know why it's happening. You know, I'm having these nightmares and I, after the gym, I went food shopping and I, you know, uh, put the bags in the trunk and then I went put the cart in the cart ca caddy thing. And I guess a bug landed on me during that time. And I got in the car and I'm driving and I feel something on my neck, my neck. And I like reach and I feel, and I could tell it was a bug. And I just like, like, like threw it and my this is gonna sound so crazy it is crazy I'm I know it's crazy but like my biggest fear when it comes to bugs is that they're that one of them's gonna go in my ear <laughs> I mean it's like it's off the hook like I'm afraid of that um I actually have a pair of earplugs in case like there's a fly flying around and going near my head. <laughs> um, so like I was really upset because that was on my neck near my ear and I didn't know if this bug in my car flew or not. Um, so I like look over and my headphones from the gym are on the, dr the passenger seat. So I put them on. I have a pair of beats, so I put them on to prevent, you know, in case it was a flying bug. <laughs> I don't even know how I function. I don't even know. Don't ask. I don't know. And yeah, I was driving with my headphones on and um, all of a sudden I see on the radio lights, yes, it does fly and I had to pull over and like tried to find it to get it out of my car. I don't know if I did or not. I I don't know. It, I was just, it's bad. So then I had to bring the groceries in. Like I don't even like going outside at night just to let the dog out because um, the bugs start flying around me and I just get upset. And then, you know, I'm dragging the, the, the uh, groceries in and for some reason, there's a lot of like frogs in our grass, frogs or toads. Like Bob and I were talking about it. Bob, said, Bob has no idea. He's like, where are they coming from? We're not like next to a pond or anything, but they're like all over our grass. And like, I'm dragging these groceries in. I'm trying not to step on the grass because I'm like, God forbid I crush a frog. It's just, it was just, yeah, I have issues apparently. And I don't know why it's getting worse. Um, but yeah, I, I can't imagine. Like, I'm, we're supposed to go camping in September. And I don't know if that's going to happen because, like, I just can't imagine being outside with all the bugs. But although September is cooler and there are less of them. And then when the campfire's happening, there's even less of them. But I don't know. It's so bad. I don't know why. I don't know why it's getting worse. But um, it all started when I watched um, the show Nightmares of the ER or something like that. And they showed a guy who had a bug in his ear. Like a, like a cockroach. That's probably why I had that nightmare about cockroaches. Yeah, a cockroach in his ear. And like they showed it like crawling around. I was, no, just cut my head off. Just get rid of it. Just, I don't even need it anymore. And ever since that show, I mean, that was years ago, but um, it's just gotten worse, this, this fear. And I'm like, it's just, and then I just like convinced myself because I'm so afraid of it happening, it's going to happen. So 
that doesn't feel good. The, the, I mean, am I, am I like crazy? <laughs> does anybody else fear this? Number one. And number two, does anybody else have like a crazy phobia that's like, I don't know, a little like crippling? Because like I literally cannot be outside at night. Um, I don't know. All right. I'm going to end there on my crazy phobia nightmare. But yep, that's what happened to me today. That was my exciting, <laughs> my exciting day. Um, so you guys, oh, the alien and the hourglass look similar when they're right next to each other. Okay, you guys enjoy the time lapse. It's looking like a tree. There is only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed. Cause baby, I got you, 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 you. I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt I've been scared to live cause some people never learn But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby I got you, 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 you Good.
She know that I wanna be good for you. She know that I wanna be good for you. I do. But sometimes someone was bad for me. Sometimes someone was bad. Oh, can't you see? I'm just being weak. I think you know that I care for you. I think you know that I care for you, I do. But sometimes I can't be there for me. Sometimes I can't be there, baby, can't you see? That I'm just being me. Mm. Sometimes we just colliding and we keep on fighting. But we'll be okay Cause we got unconditional love Sometimes we're just crying But we'll keep on trying I know we'll be okay Cause we got unconditional love Damn, I don't wanna be mad on you No, I don't wanna be mad on things you do But sometimes I need what's best for me Sometimes I need what's best Baby, can't you see? Can't be there when you're weak No, no, no Yes, I want you to be here for me Of course I want you to be here Don't disappear Sometimes I need you strong for me Sometimes I need you strong When I'm on my knees Baby, you and me, we meant to be You don't question my love, you know it's there And even if we don't agree, you know I care Cause baby, you and me, we meant to be It's you and me, unconditional love You and me, unconditional love Sometimes we just collide and Keep on fighting, but we'll be okay Cause we got unconditional love Sometimes we just crying, but we'll keep on trying Okay guys, that's at least halfway, if not more, I would say um, Yeah, and it looks like tree <laughs> Lots of tree so the one over to the right this way is all tree. So this is a continuation of that big tree. And I wonder if it'll be pink, like a darker pink still. I guess we'll just have to find out. But so far it's been all pink, all greens again. All right.
Right. trees dense trees lots of dense trees here okay let's turn this light off I'm gonna clean this mess up pretty I wonder what this is I mean it's the trees like I'm guessing this is the sky but what is this if this is in the tree oh, that was fun I like miss doing confetti and squares after doing Harry Potter for two days straight so that was fun all right guys I'm going to zoom you out and the trunks Wow, they look great. They look real good. Okay, one second. All right, guys. There it is. I'm going to have to zoom in more. It's just like, let's just look at this area here. Yeah, okay, so we definitely know that this is just probably a continuation of this branch here and the tree. So if we get this square, it's gonna be a lot of the pink and the blue and greens and browns. And I guess the same with this. So it looks like maybe same here, this tree So all this, these four will all be tree and sky. 
So there we go. It's it almost looks very 3D though, doesn't it? Like like you can go into this tree. It's very cool. Whoops, wrong way. <laughs> all right. That's all she wrote. One more square down. So that was number 19. So we have what 28 more to go. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe though that's this, the continuation of this. Looks like it. Sorry. <laughs> okay. If you guys like this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumb, a thumbs up on the way out. And if you want to keep watching more, and I promise I don't always stutter. But if you want to keep watching more and see the rest of this canvas, go ahead and press that subscribe button and join the diamond painting family. Take care guys. Keep diamond painting.